we're going to start reading for science on page 114, and then we're going to look at some charts and review for the quiz that you're going to take today. So starting on page 114 where it says fruit. After a plant is pollinated, a part of its flower begins to grow into a piece of fruit. The fruit of a plant is the structure that holds and protects seeds. Most of these structures are not the kind you eat, but some are. What is your favorite fruit? Apples, oranges, watermelons, and kiwis are all fruit because they hold seeds. But did you know that cucumbers, tomatoes, and green beans are also a plant's fruit? Now we don't necessarily call some of those fruits, and we call them vegetables, don't we? But we are eating the fruit of the plant. They hold seeds too. Every type of flowering plant makes a fruit to hold seeds. Even a grain of wheat is a fruit, right? Other ways plants can sprout. Top of the next page. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. All flowering plants will make seeds, but sometimes these seeds are very tiny and will not easily grow into plants. God designed another way for these kinds of plants to grow. Think of the tiny seeds in a strawberry. They are so tiny that you eat them when you eat the strawberry. You could start a strawberry plant from a seed, but it would be difficult. A strawberry plant sends out stems from the main plant. When these stems touch the soil, they root and grow a new plant. Some plants can be grown from a root such as a sweet potato. A white potato's buds or eyes can also grow a new potato plant. All right, so they're showing there a sweet potato and they can even see it's already sprouting into new plants, right? And a white potato can also get um, buds or eyes that grow into new plants. All right, talking about that strawberry plant. All right, so I'm not gonna draw a really good strawberry plant, but I'm just gonna draw some leaves. A strawberry plant is a low growing little bush, all right? And it would go into the ground with roots. But they're saying that a stem would grow out and it would land on the ground over here. And when it did, it would start a new strawberry plant. That's the way that it can also develop into a new plant without developing from a seed. What is the flower's job? What is the flower's job? Adam? Ben, what is the flower's job? Making seeds. To make seeds. What is the name of the yellow powdery dust formed in flowers? Liam? Pollen. Pollen. What process moves pollen from one flower to another? Jonathan? Pollination. Pollination. And what is the job of the fruit of a plant? What is the job of the fruit of the plant? Paige? To protect the seed. Yeah, to hold and protect the seeds. And that's part of what we're going to do tomorrow is look at different produce or fruits of plants to see the seeds. Is it really important? Not that much. What would that mean? A pepper is a fruit? Well, it's the fruit of the plant, but... I don't know when you actually call it a fruit, but it is the fruit of the plant. Let's look at this one first. This is from the quiz. Just this is from the quiz. So you're going to have to label the parts of the seed. So this is the seed. This is the plant. Coke, baby plant store foods. Now, this is not going to be on this quiz, but it will be on future quizzes or tests. So, this Head is a flower. flower. We're not getting that complicated. We're doing very simple. This is a flower. flower. This is a leaf. And that is a fruit. And that stem. is a stem. That's all we're doing. Very simple. Just flower, leaf, stem, root. All right, now let's look at the chart of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, which we learned yesterday. What are the four things needed for photosynthesis? Sunlight, water, chlorophyll, carbon dioxide. It's giving off oxygen. The plant is giving off oxygen. Okay, and there are also minerals in the soil.
soil. But the four things needed for photosynthesis, which is the process by which a plant makes food for the plant in the leaf of the plant. So the four things needed are sunlight, water, chlorophyll, and carbon dioxide, which is what we breathe out. All right, let's continue reviewing a little bit more for this quiz that you're about to take. So listen carefully. What is the food making process in green plants? Just say it.